Hello everyone and welcome back to Old School RuneScape. Today we're finally going to be checking out the Kebos Lowlands update that happened a couple weeks ago. I didn't check it out when it came out for two reasons. One, I was on vacation, did not have my recording computer with me because I was out of state. The other reason is, I, I mean, all I could really do was walk around and not really do anything because my levels are so low. And I wanted to at least have something I could check out from this update. And I'll admit, I'm not that familiar with much of it, but I can at least show you the basics. So... Here we are, here's the Kevos Lowlands. The stuff added in the update is basically everything above this line here, over to right here in this square, so all this stuff here, as well as this little island here. This wasn't here before. And this island is the thing we can actually do for sure, because I have been at work, working on my fishing. We have gained like, I don't know, seven fishing levels since the last episode, a number around there. Now we can uh, board these meme boats, which I can't say I'm a fan of having kind of a dumb meme as the boat name, but you know, whatever. We can hop on over to the island. Now, on this island we have aerial fishing, which is kind of like falconry meets fishing, and it gives fishing, hunter, and cooking experience. So it, it really does interest me because I do want to get those levels up. I mean, fishing, obvious uses, hunter, you know, catching implings, always great. And then cooking, you know, being able to make your own food. I mean, all things that appeal to me as a runescaper. So I've not done this. This is my first time visiting the Kebos Lowlands, so I'm going to be kind of learning as I go, but I don't even know if these cost money. So I brought 500 coins just in case. But I have a go with your bird? I don't know. I doubt that your type's up to the task. But it would be quite the amusing sight. Go on. You're going to need to... Oh, right. Oh, he wants my gloves off. Okay. Get bird again. Alright, so he doesn't even charge you money for it. That's awesome. Already better than falconry. But overall similar um, dialogue. But yeah, so basically how it works is... Well... Oh, I, yeah, I have to get some king worms because you gotta feed your bird in this. I guess that's why it doesn't cost money is because you gotta feed the thing. So yeah, how it works is every time you click, you will definitely get a fish even if the thing moves, so that's already pretty nice. Get experience. Now, if your inventory is full, the bird will eat the fish and you don't get it. So that is a thing to keep in mind. We could fill it up. I believe there's like two or three different fish you can catch here. I'm uncertain. So, um, let's see, 43, bluegill, aerial fishing, yeah. Common tench, aerial fishing, mottled eel, aerial fishing, is that it? Oh, nope, there. Greater Siren. Aerial fishing. Hmm. Alright. I don't know if they're all, like, just normal training things, but yeah, you can see we're getting both fishing and hunter experience for this. Now, I believe you can use a knife to cut these up. I don't know if he sells a knife. Oh, no, he sells other things. Is there a knife laying around here, maybe? Making me bring a knife would be real mean, guy. I don't see one. Maybe it's inside. There is something inside. Ah, there we go. Come on. Roof. Why you gotta be this way? Oh, and it's a mean door as well. Alright, but yeah, so you can do this. Gives a little bit of cooking experience. Like, the cooking experience isn't major. But you're not here for the cooking experience. You're here for the fishing and hunter. So then, what'll happen is... I think it's like every three catches your bird will eat a thing, and it'll either eat the fish chunks or it'll eat worms. But obviously, logically, you would just clear out the fish whenever you your inventory fills up. It happens automatically. You don't even have to keep clicking. I don't know why I clicked on the again, because it, it just happens. Yeah, this might be how I train fishing, just to get the hunter out of the way. I don't know how it compares in terms of fishing XP and all that compared to other training methods. Training with uh, lobsters was going pretty fast, going from 40 to 43, so yeah. But the hunter is more what I'm concerned with. But anyway, that's enough of that. So from here, you can uh, go around. It's kind of nice to have this quick transport system here to kind of jump around this lake. So you can go up here to the battlefield up here, the edge of where it used to end, because it ended like right here. So we can go check out this battlefront whatever that is. 
I'm not gonna know a lot of the things up here. We're just kind of checking out the, uh, the area, getting the lay of the land and all. Hopefully we won't die, because I have my Ring of Wealth with me. So I don't know. Not that that's valuable. Alright, so over here we have some Lizardmen peoples that you can fight, I assume. Don't know if you need a certain reputation. My reputation is unchanged from how it used to be. You we were starting on the Shazian in the uh, past. Um, they they are repolling the thing where you can gain reputation without losing it in the other ones, which if that passes, which right now it is, but the poll just came out today, I think. Um, but if that passes, then I will be happy and get I'm working on these, which the quests came out. I think we have quests for all five houses now, but I can't do them because you need 20%, and I'm not going to lose Shazian progress just to do a quest. That sucks. Okay, I don't know if these guys are aggressive. Okay, they're aggressive. Let's get a move on here. I think it'll be safe once we get into the city of Mulk or whatever. I'm just clicking all over the place. Which I believe is just to the north? Or have I already passed it? I don't know. I need to look at the map. If I don't find it soon. But this looks like a town. Oh, right. I forgot to return my bird. But he, f he found his way back. Oh, this is going to be the farming guild over here, isn't it? A lot of farming going on in Zaya. Yeah, we need 45 uh, farming to get inside here, so we're a ways away from that. I'll get to work on it now that it's here, though. I've been neglecting old school to focus more on RuneScape 3, and I'm going to try to bring some focus back to old school. Try to do, you know, maybe two episodes a week is my thinking. One a quest, one maybe related to the update, or just general stuff like training and things. Maybe not a super long one, but yeah, this is Farming Guild. They are thinking about adding a seed vault where you would be able to store seeds inside the first area, which is the 45 area, because I'm assuming it's like 45 here and then the higher one here and here, but I don't know. I really need to get my farming up, though. Anyway, though. You can see there's there's other things around here. I don't really know what all they do, but they're definitely things. Now, the city should be down here, I guess. This looks like it's a city-type area, because it's got a wall. Generally, a city would have a wall, I would think. Oh, is Mulk a lizard man city? No. Is it? Maybe it is. I genuinely don't know. What are these? Swamp Frogs. I like them. They look really cool, actually. Nice graphics on those frogs. They look a lot better than the ones in the Lumbridge Caves. I highly approve. Alright, so Mulk must be a Lizard Man City? I had no idea. I thought it was going to be a regular old town. But apparently, this is where the Lizard Men live. Kinda sucks that they are mean. I don't know if they all are, if it's just some that are. Let's find out. Let's get attacked by a lizard man if such a thing happened. No, these ones are nice. I could attack them. But, okay, these ones are mean. Though. We got some kind of pyramid here with a stone table. I have no idea. And there's dwellings. I don't think I want to go in the dwellings. Personally, it seems like a bad idea. Alright, what else do we have to look at? Oh, the mountain. We're not going to see everything, because there's too much to see, and honestly, we'll see it in the future, because someday I will get my levels up, and we will actually do the things in this game that are coming out, instead of just kind of barely scraping by on the scraps that reach my level. Ooh, we got maple trees up here, that's nice. Squirrels, some random house, got an item in it, what item is it? Rope, oh good. Fairy ring up here. What was that? Oh, last destination. Nice. Yeah, from what I saw of screenshots, this mountain looked kind of cool graphically, and yeah, you can see it's it's definitely something new in this graphic style. I've not seen anything quite like this. What was that? Why did it turn red? Oh, there's you can only climb down, I assume. They might be pulling a shortcut somewhere. I don't know if it's in the mountains or what. For like 88 agility. I have no idea 
I don't know. I think the mountains is um, where the Slayer stuff is. And there's like the Czar knockoff people for Zaya. I don't really know much about, except that they exist. That they, they're they like the Czar, but they're in Zaya. I think this is them we're seeing here. They have very strange names. Got some bats flying around to the northern edge. Good stuff. Let's get on up here. Oh, there's some higher level players around here. But nothing too excessive. Just level 100. Nice and round number there. Alright, so what is this machine here, I wonder? Let's get a close-up look. I like the blue. This is really graphically nice. They have done some nice things with the graphics in this game, for sure. Hey, where does this go? Ah, we're underground. We got a free vial. I'm going to pick it up. Keep it, because I'm rich now. Ah, here. Now, this is more like what I'm expecting to see. Oh, I think the people outside were, like, um, humans that were, like, allied with these guys. I think I read about that. These are definitely just guys here. Human, leave us. Your presence is not desired. How friendly. Yeah, whatever. I completed a medium task, apparently. I also completed a easy one on the way in. I've not looked at the task set. Um, where are tasks hidden? Where are they hidden? Am I lost? I thought they were here. There we go. I don't know how I missed that the first time. You're in Den Kevos. Now, we did that one. We got all these other ones, too. We gotta kill a sand crab, mine some iron, hand in a book, steal from a food stall, browse the general store, pray in the altar, dig up some saltpeter, enter your player owned house so we have to move it, heal a guy, make a thing, fish a trout. We might be able to do all this, honestly. A couple of these things require, um, whatchamacallit, uh, favor, but I think it's the ones we have, actually. I think, like, stealing from Hasidius, oh, asks them. Yeah, you need 15% to steal from the fruit stall, because that makes sense. I guess they're really suspicious of you until you have more favor, so you can't do it. I don't know. I guess maybe we can't mine saltpeter? I have no idea. Isn't that a fishing one, though? I think it is. I don't know. Healing injured soldiers. Whatever. Point is, I think we can do it, and I'll look into maybe doing that either next episode or something. Basically, we're gonna kinda goof off a little until they do, do the update that lets me do favor, because let's go ahead, let's get out of here. I don't know where a nearby bank is. There's probably one, like, right there, but, you know, whatever. I wasn't planning on staying in Kevos Lowlands anyway, so getting out of there is fine. I will be doing fishing there, just not today. I got other things to work on today. If I actually play this game. Got so many things I'm working on. Just can't find the time. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna look at the pole. Wait, isn't the pole outside in this one? I don't, I don't understand why, but it is. Get rained on. Yeah, if you can look, all the things are passing except for this one. Which I I kind of voted yes for just because it sounded nice. Sometimes I'll skip questions if I don't really care. Other times, if I like the sound of it, I'll vote yes even if I'm not sure. This, this is the one I want. It's at 84%, so it sounds pretty good for it passing. Also, this one, it, it says it provides more links between current and the mainland. I think it's just talking, like, thematic links. Although, I would really like more ways to transport myself there that aren't, like, high level. Because it seems like... I, I always feel just, like, so annoyed when I have to travel there. Because I don't have the talisman yet. And maybe once I get the talisman, it'll be fine. But I haven't managed to get it. And I don't know if there's a good way to get it. Zarek's talisman or whatever. Let me see... For some reason, whenever I search on wiki, a lot of times it misses the first letter that I type in. I don't know why that is. I thought it was just a fandom thing, but it happened on the new one, too. Whatever. Yeah, Zarek's Talisman. It's a rare drop from Lizardmen, Brutes, and Shamans, and it can be attained from Stone Chests, whatever those are. Um, ah, I've just never gotten one. I really, really would like one, so that I can have a more convenient teleport option to get here. Just recharges with, I think, the... Yeah, Lizardman Fangs. 
which I can get no problem. I'm at the level where I can kind of kill Lizardmen without it being too annoying. Slightly. Barely. But, uh, it works. It's, it's a thing. It'd be much better than my current method of home teleporting to Lumbridge, walking to Port Serum, and then taking, um, Veos, or Veos, or whatever his name is, to whichever of the two places I'm going, because he can either take you... He can either take... Ooh. Map. There. Yeah, he can either take you there, or up here. And, uh, yeah. Like, it's, it's not fun. I want more teleport options around here. And I don't know if the, uh, the diary has one. Let me see, actually. We're in, uh, Zaya. It'd be the Kebos, um, Lilin's diary. Do they have just a link? Oh, well. It's the Curand and Kebos. They, see, there it goes. It cut off the K. It seems to be a bigger problem with the actual old-school wiki than with the RS3 one. I don't know why. Maybe it's this computer. Alright, rewards. I think, did this thing? Yeah, this thing came out, the diary came out with the Kebos Lowlands update. I thought that was the case. Yeah, the uh, easy one gives you three teleports to the Curend Woodland every day. The second one gives five teleports. The, th the uh, hard one, the third one, gives unlimited to Curend Woodland and three to Mount Karulm. Which is that... Yeah, that's that place there, so... The Slayer place. Yeah, there's the Slayer Master there. There was a bank there, I thought there might be. And a pole booth. Um, and then the final one gives unlimited teleports to the mountain. So yeah, that would really help, because... Yeah, unlimited teleports to here, I, I would assume... Probably, like, either next to the guild or next to Land's End. Although, why would they not say Land's End? I don't know where it teleports. I could probably figure it out if I do, but that would definitely make me happier. And even three a day, like, for my purposes, since I don't play old school that much, three a day would be enough. And we can definitely do the tasks. Well, achievements. Diary things. Whatever you want to call them, you know. The things. We can do the achievement diary. Yeah, we'll probably do that next episode then, because I really want those teleports. But anyway, until then, I will see you guys later. I'm going to go, I don't know, catch some lobsters or some bluegills or something. I'll do something.